Hello everybody, I am Nicole. I'm a junior at Arizona State University and we wanted to conduct a mock interview today. Right now is the season for interviews for your dream job, for your dream internship, and it's really intimidating going into those things. So we set up a mock interview with two of my favorite people on this planet, two members of the Engineering Gals Dream Team. We have Paulina and Camille. Paulina is an environmental health and safety engineer at Lockheed Martin, and she's an amazing person. I love working with her, and she has so many pointers and tips to give you. Camille is amazing as well. She's such a good student. She runs our TikTok account, so go follow that as well. And she's a civil engineering student at UW. Hope you guys enjoy. Hi, Camille. Welcome to EG Construction E. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day for this interview. So this interview will go um, not too long. Um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself, and then I'm going to go ahead and ask you a few questions. Some of the questions that I will ask you, if you don't mind, I would like you to follow the STAR method, which is if you can go ahead and give me the strategy, the task, the action, and the result of you know some of the questions that I'm going to go ahead and ask you. So just to kind of give you a quick background, um, my name is Paulina Castellon. I've been working for EG Construction Inc. now for over eight years. I am the senior project manager here on site and I love working here. We are a very diverse group. We work with plenty of well-known customers. We stride on providing our customers great work, new innovation ideas, and of course, keeping the facility in our employees safe. So that's just a little bit about myself and uh, I'll definitely leave open questions for you later. But if you don't mind, can you go ahead and tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. So my name is Camille Schmidt. I am a junior at the University of Wisconsin-Madison studying civil engineering and minoring in environmental studies. And so trying to kind of figure out my path through civil engineering, I worked with a construction firm last summer doing renewable energy construction and really enjoyed my time there and I'm looking forward to hopefully pursuing a career in construction. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. So one of the first questions, and please, do not feel nervous at all. I want to make this interview as comfortable as possible. What would you say is one of your greatest strengths and weaknesses? Yeah, so I would say my biggest strength is being detail oriented. I like looking at the big picture of things, but just the way my mind works, I like to kind of dive into the nitty gritty aspects of a project. And then my weakness is kind of how bullheaded I am, but also, um, learning to reach out for help when I need it on school or work. And the past couple of years, I've been, I think, getting better with it with TAs, professors, and my managers through different jobs of, I don't have to struggle through a problem alone just because I can't figure it out. Like everyone I work with is more than willing to help me along the way. Great, that's good to know. Um, how did you hear about this position? So I heard about it through my university's like job posting website. Oh, okay, great. That's great to know that EG Construction Inc. is there at the university. That's, I like to hear that our recruiters are doing a good job out there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go ahead and describe a difficult work situation or project and how did you handle it? Yeah, so something that kind of comes in my mind right away, not so much a project, just work experience is this past summer being a younger female in construction is a little bit difficult because some of my male co-workers were a little inappropriate in comments or um, asking certain questions and while I didn't want to have to deal with this I knew I shouldn't just leave it alone so kind of had to stand my ground but also talk to someone on management that I was comfortable with because it was not a huge problem it hadn't evolved into anything but I wanted to confide in someone that I could trust in case things got worse and just kind of uh, stop it at the root of the problem. Okay. Well, I just want to let you know that I'm deeply apologetic and that you even had to encounter that. He, here at EG Construction Inc., we strive on our mod motto here, if you see something, you say something. And we take those, uh, you know, take those actions seriously. You know, I myself as a woman in construction, I definitely strongly believe once again with our motto, see something, say something, safety comes first. So I'm deeply, you know, very, very sorry that you had to experience that here at EG. We really do strive to protect and keep a very safe environment for our team, just so you know that, okay? Thank you. So of course, of course. 
another question, and I know it's kind of a big one, but if you don't mind, uh, where do you, what are some of your goals? Where do you see yourself in the future? So uh, one of my big like kind of overarching goals is finding a company that I can learn and grow with because although it's been nice kind of in my academic life, joining different companies and seeing uh, how different ones work and learning their ways of life, it would be very nice to find a company I could settle like settle with and learn almost every aspect of what they have to offer because um, it is very nice to know all of the policies and procedures to the point where you feel comfortable going to work every day and it's not just like something completely brand new. No, that's great. Here at EG Construction Inc., you have so many opportunities to grow. I know it's an entry-level position and I know sometimes engineers kind of get a little discouraged by that, but I promise you you will promote very quickly here. We are a growing company and it makes me happy to know that. So that's good to know. I like that. Um, if you don't mind, can you go ahead and explain a time where you had to design something or maybe there was a complication or a flaw during your construction process and an accident occur? In that situation, what would you do? I'd say immediately make sure that whoever the accident happened to, that they were okay, got whatever help they needed. And then, of course, notify the team that I'm working with as to what happened. And once mm -hmm. all of that's kind of cleaned up, uh, work as a team to figure out why that occurred and how we can prevent that from happening again, not to point fingers at anyone, but right. figure out what's causing these issues and just take actions to prevent more from happening. Okay. Well. I have all my questions, Camille. Thank you so much. And let me kind of end it here with, do you have any questions for myself? Yeah, I have a couple. So one of the things right now I'm kind of curious about is um, for this entry level position, what would you say would be the biggest challenge in the first six months of working with EG? Yeah, so I would say one of the biggest challenges right now, and you'll find this with any company, is with COVID. We're doing our best, you know, to work with our employees, keeping them safe, following all the federal and state regulations, but it can be a little challenging. You know, it's still a construction site where we still have employees, you know, what we have to respect the rules of quarantine, those who need to work remotely, and still trying to meet those customer deadlines. So it kind of can be a little, a little stressful. Well, you know, we're doing our best and we're still working. So I'm very, very thankful. Okay, that's good, good to know. Um, what do you personally enjoy most about working for this company? Oh, so one thing that I love about EG Construction Inc. is that we're 700 employees here on this site facility. So it's a smaller site. But that being said, because it is a smaller site, we know everybody and it feels very at home. You'll start to, you know, get to know your colleagues and their families. And pre-COVID, we used to have tons of company barbecues, holiday events, June safety month, things like that to interact the teams together and network as well. Um, so that I always feel, I like coming into a company where we feel comfortable with each other. Yeah, that's always very nice. Um, and then also, what would a typical day on site look like? Oh, so, if that one is going to vary. I know for yourself as an entry level engineer coming in, you will be shadowing another senior engineer, but your schedule would be a four to 10 schedule, meaning that you'd work Monday through Thursday, 10 hours a day. You can schedule it however you like. We are very flexible here. You just have to complete your 40 hours a day. Um, you will have specific projects that you will have to go to. So it's 10% driving the position requires, but you don't have to use your vehicle. We have a company vehicle that we will provide you with, and you will have your own site facilities that you just kind of have to stay on top of where you're going to be meeting with the customer, you know, environmental health safety engineers there or the facility engineers there, making sure uh, meeting with the architect, permits are signed, processes done. And again, you'll never be alone. You'll have other engineers with you. So if you ever have questions or when in doubt, or you can always call myself as well. Awesome, thank you. Um, and then I guess just to wrap things up, what would be the next steps after this interview? Yeah, so the next step is I'm gonna set up another interview via teleconference in two weeks so you can meet the team. I think it's really important that the team also gets to meet the new upcoming engineers or if they have any questions, you know, I wanna make sure that our team dynamic just flow very, uh, flows nicely. We all have to work together. And after that, I would say within another two weeks, the, AR, the recruiter will go ahead and contact you and provide you some paperwork to meet with HR or just some HR questions, mm -hmm. things like that. But of course, if you ever have any comments, questions, concerns, or anything that comes up, please feel free to contact me. You have my contact information.
Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Mila. And once again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day for this interview. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah, thank you, you as well. Thank you.